back on the HP pavilion so wow I got it right so I've been calling at the pavilion for the longest time and I, no one actually called me out on it is actually pronounced the HP pavilion um, that's not really the important part it's the important part of how well this laptop can run things and it's still amazing me to this day and even now looking at uh, these settings here we are on black ops cold war beta now I did have to um, and it's not in the video but I did turn everything to medium or low but you can see the very very beginning so if it's kind of fast, I did turn the settings. It was already set to what it was. Uh, it was just custom. It was just set it to what the P, uh, the laptop could handle. Um, I did wind up turning the texture resolution down low. I had to. Um, it, you know, this laptop does have its limitations, and I did have to turn the texture resolution down to actually medium. Excuse me because it was actually kind of laggy and glitchy um again guys before we continue be sure to hit that like button and subscribe if you guys enjoy my content um we'll be doing more videos on the hp pavilion as well as cold war videos and uh, a lot of gaming videos after that too so i hope you guys also enjoyed my new channel intro i'm really excited about it and hope you guys like that so anyways back to the hp pavilion it is still amazing me of how well it can actually run and it is running this um cold war just phenomenally I could not believe it actually was able to run it this good. Like, I knew it would probably be able to run it, but the fact that it can run it this good, and it's very fluid gameplay, we're getting a constant 60 frames up there, and, you know, guys, that's that's with, like, low and medium settings and a few things on high, but again, guys, it's just amazing of how well this can actually play, and it still amazed me of how well it could. Um, you know, being is, I would definitely call this a really, really, really good budget, good purchase laptop uh i would recommend it highly still and it's still amazing me what games it can run and things like that and i'll, I'll be continuing to push as hard as i can to see what exactly it can run and be getting those videos out to you we do have a war zone uh call of duty Modern warfare war zone test coming soon and i hope you guys stay tuned for that um again guys be sure to like this video and subscribe i really appreciate it i'll see you guys in the next video let me know down in the comments below what you think and if you want to see other videos on this pavilion or uh different videos comparisons etc so i'll see you guys in the next video